the new, however everyone, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope you all enjoyed some downtime. Um, I have very much enjoyed my downtime and I've kind of just got back out walking again. And one of the things that I think thought about a lot over Christmas was everybody talks about uh, New Year's resolutions. And we all know that they fail, right? Like pretty much all of them fail. I don't remember a single New Year's resolution that I've ever really stuck to. And I wonder if there's, you know, like when we, when we talk about business, we can't afford to fail, so we don't. And we follow processes and procedures that mean that we succeed nine times out of 10. They've tried, tested, proven procedures and flaws. And, all right. So what if? When we're all creating our new year's resolution this year, we think of it like a business strategy. And where I'm going with this is I wouldn't launch a business and aim to be successful from day one, because I know that wouldn't work. I wouldn't launch a new website and expect it to be perfect on day one, much like diets and exercise can't be perfect from day one. We all know that like the, the bigger the change you try and effect in yourself the more likely you are to give up at some point in the near future. There's too much for your brain to take in. You haven't built the habit, the routine. So maybe this year when you're making your new year's resolution, do what I'm about to do. And I'm going to share this with everyone and consider how you ramp up that new year's resolution in steps. So what's a goal for January? What's then added to that for February? What's added to that for March? And how do we know by the end of March, whether quarter one has been successful? All right, let's try it.